Good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick. Today is Monday, September the 6th. It is Labor Day, and we're here today at Holy Shepherd Lutheran Church in Hazlitt for your daily devotions. We are starting in Ephesians chapter 5, and we're starting in the middle of the chapter at verse 15, if you'd like to turn there now and join me. Look carefully, then, how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. Addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, Submit to your own husbands, as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its Savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle, or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies, for he who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. Because we are members of his body. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother, and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. All right, so uh, I actually preached on this passage not all that long ago. Um, Ephesians 5 is read at many weddings. It, it has both um, things that I think people of today uh, value and appreciate, as well as some controversial uh, words for modern ears. Uh, Paul starts out this section talking about, uh, you know, watching how we walk, talking that the days are filled with evil, not getting drunk, and then um, addressing each other with songs, hymns, and spiritual psalms. And so this is the language of the Christian. This is how we refer to um, uh, or, or how we communicate with one another, how we communicate our faith, how we extol our faith. Um, it's, it's the language that we have towards one another to build one another, one another up in Christ. And Paul finishes this discussion by talking about submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ, and then he brings the marital relationship into this discussion, talking about um, wives and husbands and how they each have uh, a unique role towards um, towards each other, and that husbands are called to love their wives, wives are called to uh, submit to their husbands um, as to Christ, and and the, the relationship between a husband and a wife is to mirror that between Christ and the church, that Christ loves the church, he sacrifices his own life for the church, that um, in doing so he shows that he loves the church more than he loves himself, and then in the same way, um, the, the wife submits to the husband just as the church submits to the word of Christ, that we submit ourselves to the Bible, the word of God, um, uh, you know, in essence, denying ourselves and, and looking to be guided by the word of God, not doing our own will, but, but doing the will uh, of God that is expressed to us in the word, so that in this way, uh, you know, the, the marital relationship reflects the relationship that, that Christ has with the church, and uh, that this is what God uh, states here in this chapter of, of, of the book of Ephesians. And like I said, there's some, mod there's some things in here that are difficult for modern ears, but Christians are called to be different in our society. We're called to be different than the rest of our society. And, and you know, there's not meant to be any subjugation here. There's not meant to, this is not meant to be used um, as a text to, uh, to control other people with. And so uh, that, that is its misinterpretation at times. And, and so if there is a, a question of something, then you know people should be able to go to their pastors and get marital counseling and, and all of that. 
But, um, you know, we do keep it with, uh, with the words of this text, being guided by this text, knowing that it's inspired by God himself, and uh, appreciating also the, the language that is offered up here uh, for our encouragement in the faith and for our growth in, in the knowledge of, of Christ and his word. All right, let's continue now as we pray together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Okay, so... uh, Labor Day. I wish everyone a blessed Labor Day. Hopefully you all are off from work today and are using this time to maybe get ready for the rest of the week because kids are going back to school tomorrow and uh, here at church we're getting ready for lots of activities. We do have an evangelism meeting starting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock and then uh, a week from... um, No, uh, this, this coming weekend... Uh, We have our men's breakfast this coming Saturday with the elders meeting to follow, council meeting um, also after that. Let's see. Uh, Preschool is starting up this coming Wednesday for all of you preschool parents. And then this coming Sunday is going to be rally day and the start of youth confirmation. Uh, Oh, I know what I was going to say. A week from today starts uh, our new adult pastors class, our, our new adult confirmation class. So, If you are interested in taking this as a refresher or because you are interested in joining our congregation, we'd love to have you you present with us. Uh, I've got a few people enrolled in there. We'd love to have some more. So just uh, send me an email, pb316 at spcglobal.net. Let me know. We'll get another book made for you. And then we'll be starting a week from tonight at... uh, I'll have to go back and look at what time I I have set for that. Oh, I can just look right here. Um, 7 o'clock. I have 7 o'clock p.m., so we'll go from 7 to 9. Okay, that's all the announcements I have for today. God bless the rest of your Monday. We look forward to seeing you back again tomorrow for Daily Devotions.